Hey everybody, what's up? We've got a few new events live and I thought we would go through and take a look at them. There's a couple of important notes I wanna give on a couple of the events. There's some things that if you're newer, you might be curious about or you might just not know. And uh, you, can, you can be more efficient if you know these things in these events. So let's start with the Quantum Mimic Machine because I feel like if you're newer and you haven't experienced this one, it's, it can be kind of a confusing event. Uh, but it, it's it's actually pretty simple. The big thing to know is that this thing right here, if you decide to make the purchase and buy a glowing particle, it's like a $5 pack. Uh, it's not an expensive pack. Let's, are you not gonna take me to the shop? All right, well, usually I, th I thought it would take you to the shop. In the shop, you can buy one of these for five bucks. And basically what happens with this event is, you get these from just playing the game. They can drop from your dungeons, wasteland, uh, soul mine, basically anywhere in the game that you that you do, do a run, these will drop. You can get up to three a day and then you can spend them here. When you spend them, you're gonna get one of these rewards, either from this list or hit the jackpot and get one of these events. It's gonna show up in the left and then it's gonna create a copy of it on the right side. When you collect all over here, what you get on the right side stays until the end of the event. When you use this glowing particle, what I kind of think should happen is if you buy the pack and use it, it should just unlock this side for the whole event. But I don't believe that's the case. I believe it is a one-time consumption. So if you, on the first day, use your three cores, get your three things, and then, and then buy the core and claim them from over here, you're gonna have to buy it again to claim them again. So what you wanna do is let the right side build up until the last day of the event, until you've used every one of these that you can obtain for this event. And then if you decide that it's worth it to spend the five bucks to claim everything over here, you can spend the five bucks. In my opinion, it's always gonna be worth it. You're, you're probably almost certainly gonna hit red runes at some point in this. Everything in this event honestly is pretty nice. Let's do our first three and see what we get. Red runes straight out of the gate, all right? Red runes, 10 uh, advanced summons, and five yellow runes. So I can collect these from here, and then the copies are gonna stay over here, and they're not going anywhere. So I can continue to claim every day. It's just gonna continue to stack these rewards over here. And then on the last day event, again, if you wanna spend the $5 and get a duplicate, of everything that you pulled on the left side throughout the entire event and do it again in my opinion it's always going to be worth five dollars i don't think there's better value ever in the game ever than the five dollars to get everything over here especially if you get lucky and pull the champ or the prototype or both i kind of feel like if you pull one of these you almost have to spend the five dollars to get the other copy because usually each of these things individually in a pack is a hundred bucks and they throw some other stuff in to, so that you're not actually spending a hundred bucks on the thing itself, but you kind of are. That's usually the reason you're spending the hundred bucks, right? So if you get the prototype or the champ, I think 100% spend the five bucks, but I also kind of think 100% spend the five bucks anyway, because you're just never going to see value like this in the game anywhere else. It is insane. Everything you're going to get for $5 at the end of this event. So that's how this works okay you get three a day you can collect from the left it's not going to harm you to collect from the left every day and then on the last day if you decide you want to spend the five bucks to get the glowing particle you can claim everything up here it's incredible value you won't see value like it anywhere else all right the other event that i wanted to talk about is the elite chapter event now the way this works is you, you can get your tickets from here i don't remember if you can do a refill I don't think you can do a refill with diamonds. I think you have to spend if you want to do a refill, but it's not necessary. You're going to be able to finish the event well in advance with just what you get every day. You go through and then you have the event shop. Now you can see I've already got some materials. I actually don't know why I have this unless I just didn't get around to spending it. The reason I have these left over though is because like I said uh, in the last video where I kind of introduced these events, these materials stay in your inventory even after the event ends. So you can save for the next one. So if you save, 
you can kind of have a head start on getting to this champ and then be able to claim both champs. You're not going to earn enough crystals from one event from zero to claim both champs. So it's a good idea to just save. Get your champ and then save them all for the next event. Now there is some nice stuff in here, okay? Red runes, as we know, are very valuable. Pain rune is fantastic, but you don't need to buy it from here. 33 of these is a lot for pain rune. Pain rune is gonna drop for you eventually from Terra Dome. If you're if you're if you don't have one yet or you need more copies, it's coming. And you are occasionally gonna get those things where you can select a prototype. Just pick pain rune from there if you need it. Okay. Don't spend 33. Uh, what are these crystals? Yeah. Don't spend 33 crystals on pain rune from here. Don't buy purple runes. Don't buy yellow runes. Uh, I kind of think the only thing in here that's truly worth it would be the red runes and even then it's you're going to get differing opinions I kind of think just sit on the champ you're going to get red runes from other places uh, just just collect your champs from here and then save them for the next event and, co and keep collecting your champs okay uh, and then down here you're going to earn exactly enough debris to claim everything in here so if i'm not mistaken this is everything i claimed so let's test that real quick Let, let's see if i just didn't spend any last time oh i'm gonna get one of those okay i must have spent so i don't know why i have that left over because in my experience you get exactly enough to buy everything here so i don't know where all that came from Honestly, uh, maybe they gave it to us at some point. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, the, yeah, you can buy eight of those. I don't know where that came from. I thought it gave you the exact amount. Maybe something's changed. If anybody knows why I had extra of that, I'd be interested to hear it because I'm pretty sure I bought everything last time and I, I thought it gave you exactly the right amount to buy everything in that shop. But anyway, save your crystals. You can spend your debris without concern because you're gonna earn enough through the whole event to buy everything that costs debris. Careful with the crystals, okay? And then this is just, this is pretty easy stuff. You just kind of come through and use your tickets every day. Not really a difficult event. And then what else do we have? We have Return to Giant Tower, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. You, you kind of have to decide what's worth it to you. Obviously in the first row, champ is gonna be worth it. In the second row, you kind of have a decision to make. Do you want to keep advancing your crate or do you want to start stocking up on red runes? Because this is a pretty good source of red runes, okay? The stuff in the middle is fantastic, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it competes with the copies of the champ or the red runes. So unless you have a fully maxed out crate, this is, you know, you'll, you'll have a decision to make here. And you have to spend a certain amount to get to the next floor. Again, fairly straightforward event. Um, and that's your call. I think I think you're right either way. If you want to max your crate, you're right. If you want to just get red runes, I also think you're right. So, and then for the recruitment event, I don't know if everybody has it. I don't know what the deal is with recruitment events. I feel like sometimes some people have them and sometimes some people don't, and I don't really know what the deciding factor is. I don't know how it works, but I will say if you are at if you have a recruitment event and it stops at 500 and you've been saving and you have enough to get Bailey and that frustrates you. Don't let it frustrate you. Once you get started into a recruitment event, it will open up into the later stages of it and you will be able to get your Bailey. I tested that out on my free to play account, I believe. I believe that's the one we tested it out on. Either way, that is 100% the case. So sometimes it'll stop at 500. I've gotten a lot of frustrated comments about that. Don't be frustrated. It will open up into the, the later stages and you'll still be able to get your Bailey. So um, that is... That is it. I think that's kind of all I wanted to cover. Again, make sure you grab your orbs from each of the banners if you haven't already. That is important to do every single time. Before you do anything else, make sure you get your orbs because those are incredibly valuable. All right. And then uh, I've got a few cards. I think I'm probably going to go ham on the crate banner, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to I'm going to snag a few more cards soon and uh, and and we'll do our summons. We'll, we'll, we'll just have one good big summon session or creep and we're gonna see if we can't get him up a little bit more because currently he's just at baseline immortal i want to get a few more uh, evolutions in him so be on the lookout for that there is a big summon video coming soon for crete 
And then uh, I did a video recently on Ampu. If you want to check that out, I'll card to it up there either now or sometime during the video. Uh, I, I, I would recommend checking it out. If, if, you, if, if you are not a fan of him, if you've kind of written him off as not being useful, I would go check that video out if you haven't seen it yet because he's real good. He's a really good champ. So I guess that's it. We'll get out of here. Hopefully this helps you if you're newer, understand these events a little bit and know kind of what to spend and whatnot and how the quantum mimic machine works especially i feel like this is one of the more confusing events <laughs> when i was new i was like what in the hell do i do with this so hopefully that answered any questions you have about it if you have any other questions below drop them and i'll do my best to answer them or someone else will help you and if you have any other tips you want to drop about any of the events also drop them below i would appreciate that as well so i'm getting out of here appreciate y'all later